Pino thoughts. Tonight I want to talk about pride. Especially for a man, pride is a real big deal. And one thing that I think everyone, rich, poor, white, black, everybody needs help. Everybody needs someone in their life that can teach them something. And I think pride plays a real big part on who you accept that lesson from. As a man who married in a you know committed relationship, they don't want their woman to ever see another man show them or teach them something. Especially if they're around the same age. That does not make you less of a man to accept knowledge from anyone. What it makes you if you deny the knowledge makes you stupid. And I want you to think about that. Anybody that can deliver knowledge to you that can help you better yourself, better your life, you have to believe and understand that it's not just for you. It's going to benefit the people that you care about, i.e. your wife or your significant other or your kids. I'm 38 years old. It took a long time for me to understand that. But now that I've been through a lot in a short period of time, especially during my marriage, a lot of things that me and my wife went through that the old me would have ran. But I had to, excuse me, I had to accept knowledge from people who've been there. My homie, he, told, he taught me a lot. He told me a lot. And it didn't make me feel less of a man. It made me feel like I have a lot to learn. And it doesn't make you dumb. Because if you enter in any situation that you've never been in, you are ignorant to that situation. And ignorance, when you have no clue, it's nothing wrong with that. Ignorance is not accepting the valuable information that can better your life. Now, women, don't feel that if you have an intelligent man in your life that he's talking down on you when he's providing knowledge to help better your relationship. A lot of women have that perception that men might just be a little bit less intelligent than you are. Not necessarily true. There are a lot of women in this world that's very intelligent. So don't get that misunderstood. But what we have to start doing is learning to be a power couple. Not a Jay-Z and Beyonce because they rich. But you have to use your, your resources to become better. You, not a better Beyonce, not a better Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Those people live their lives the way they see fit. They became successful because someone helped them. You can't do it alone. Lately, I've really been reading my Bible, reading the Word, because if you don't know, without God, your relationship ain't going to withstand any trials and tribulations. 
Any mount, any hill that you come across is going to be hard to cross it if you don't include God. I had to learn it. God has brought me through a lot of things. And, and I'm not afraid or ashamed to tell you about God. No, I'm not perfect. And I'm not going to sit here and preach to you. The one thing I can say is I'm a firm believer that God is real. And I just want y'all to know that. So, at the end of the day, be a team. Don't fight against each other. Help one another. Help your fellow brother. Help your fellow sister. And that's the only way we can do this. Y'all know this thing. Separate. Break all this apart. Like this. Strike a mighty blow. Pino dogs. Boom. Stress can be a lonely road. I can feel it now, the anger taking over, and it's so much stress, so I can't control it. But I can't lose, you know, I can't let the anger win. Let the shit get me down, have me singing the blue with no stress relief and just moving.